بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له أشهد أن نبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا وقم أبرادس الإسلام to lesson 110 of the Arabiyyat of Ben Yadayk, book 1, part 1 of the new version. ووقفنا أيها الإخوة عند صفحة جديدة جديدة أو سنبدأ بصفحة جديدة إن شاء الله. We will start with the new page إن شاء الله. وهي الصفحة الثامنة والخمسون and it's the 58th page. الحوار الثاني the second ديالوغ نعم نعم I have read we have read I think up to في أي دور الشقة نعم so I will continue, inshallah, with reading before explaining uh, the, the hiwar. الشقة في الدور الخامس أريد مشاهدة الشقة تفضل أدخل هذه هي الشقة هذه شقة جميلة ف في البداية إن شاء الله و بإذن الله وبسم الله in the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى I will start with explaining this word المستأجر أنا المستأجر والمؤجر اسمان جديدان are two new nouns المستأجر أي الإخوة uh, is the tenant المستأجر my brothers in Islam is the tenant and المؤجر is what you call the landlord so المستأجر or without L as you can see is مستأجر مستأجر uh, this is a اسم فاعل okay. this is a اسم فاعل من الفعل from the verb استأجر استأجر is he rented استأجر خالد شقة خالد rented an apartment استأجر is the root form what is the he past tense استأجر is فعل ماض it's a past tense verb in the he form خالد should have two dhamma because it's not ممنوع من الصرف still having difficulties with نعم خالد بضمتين <coughs> استأجر خالد شقة خالد has two dhamma and خالد has why does خالد has a dhamma because it's a subject what's called فاعل and subjects in the Arabic language they have dhamma شقة is مفعول به it's an object because we have a verb and we have the what question خالد rented what شقة okay object مفعول به Thus, uh, this verb only means rented? No. We have two meanings in one. Istajara is rented and hired. And an example for hired is this one. Istajartu, this is I hired, because istajara is he hired, istajartu. Uh, the I form in the past tense is by 
adding an open tau with a dhamma and putting us putting us a sukun on the last letter that was in the he form, what was istajara. So istajartu is I hired. What did I hire? I'm deliberately saying now what, because the what question takes us to the object, muf'unun bihi, and it gets a fatha. Istajartu sayyaratan. I hired what? Sayyaratan, a car. So we have one verb for two meanings. Renting and hiring and even leasing goes in this verb. Okay. Istajara yastajiru. Yastajiru, he's renting or he's hiring. Istajir, hire, command, sukun. Istijaran, this is the masdar. Eh? So we have the fi'lu amrin and then we have the masdar. Istijaran, eh, masdarun. As you can see, there's two fatha. Although in the sentence it can have only two dhamma or even two kasra or two fatha, depending on the situation. Okay. Lakin, in the dictionary it has two fatha to distinguish between the masdar and the other nouns. We have also other nouns, ismu fa'ilin with ism maf'ul. So, uh, renting is isti'jarun. هذا البيت للاستئجار. This house is for renting, uh, or for rent. فهو مستأجر. Aha, this is the one we have here. So when you see فهو in the dictionary, it means the ism fa'il is coming. Okay, so he is. فهو, so he is. فهو مستأجر. So he's the hirer, the renter. والجمع للمذكر. The plural for the masculine for mustajiruna, renters. Wahiya mustajiratun. This is the ism fa'il for the feminine form because uh, normally uh, you just, it's just very clear how to make the ism fa'il feminine. So you will not normally find it in the dictionary fil mu'jam. Adatan la tajidu, adatan normally la tajidu, you don't find ism al fa'ili. اسم الفاعل المؤنث في المعجم. Uh, you will not find the feminine ism fa'il in the dictionary. Because it's easy. I mean, if they mention the past tense, أكلا, you will not find in the dictionary أكلتو I ate. أكلتا you masculine. أكلتي you feminine ate. أكلنا we ate. أكلو they ate. أكلنا with a short noon, they feminine ate. أك, uh, you don't uh, أكلا they to ate. You don't get that because if you know how to change it with one verb, you can have any verb in the, in the whole Arabic language. You will do the same. Akkaltu, I ate. So, the haptus, I went. Kataptu, I wrote. Okay. Qara'tu, I read. Okay. Likewise, uh, with the feminine ism fa'il, you're just adding a ta. Wahiya musta'jiratun. She is hiring, she is renting. Waljam'u. Musta'jiratun. Remember the alif open tan, the feminine plural. And a musta'jirun, there is a word for in English. It's not only a renter, a hirer, but it's also a tenant. Okay? A tenant. Very common word in the English language. Ain al musta'jiru, where is the tenant? Wal maf'ulu musta'jarun. Uh, when I say al maf'ulu, meaning ismu al maf'ul. But the Arabs uh, in, the, in, the, in the grammar you just say wal maf'ulu, uh, but it's ismu al maf'ul. That's the full name. Musta'jarun, what, what means rented or hired? Mathalan, هذا البيت مستأجرون. This house is rented. Or for a feminine, هذه الشقة, this apartment, مستأجرتون. Is uh, 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 rented and it's full. Then, fal mustajiru. We go back to this first word that we find. Fal mustajiru. So the mustajir, huwa man yastajiru shay'an. So the mustajir is the one who rents something. Sawa'an. What means sawa'an? Weather. سواء كان بيتا whether it's a house أو سيارة or a car 
أو غير ذلك أو other than that. فهو أوسع so it's wider فهو أوسع wider or broader أوسع means wider or broader من than than the word tenant. What do I mean with it, my brothers in Islam? If you say المستأجر is the tenant. المستأجر هو tenant. Nobody will say it's wrong. Okay. Nobody say this is a strange uh, translation. هذه ترجمة غريبة. لا أحد يقول هذا. Nobody says this. لماذا? Why? لأن الترجمة صحيحة because the translation is correct but لكن does مستأجر always means tenant? no مستأجر is a much wider word its meaning is wider and broader than just tenant okay look فقد جاء look جاء is came Okay, and قد or even فقد when it's with the past tense it means indeed because indeed it has come في تعريفي in the definition of tenant I'm talking about the English definition of tenant okay we have studied that مستأجر is a much wider word than tenant because uh, 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 the word tenant uh, is 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 a specific word, okay? So if I rent a car, I'm مستأجرون. Am I tenant at the same time? No, okay? If I rent a boat, uh, استأجروا سفينة, a boat. Or أي شيء آخر, anything that I can rent, uh, it comes under the word مستأجرون. So if I rent a house, I'm مستأجرون, and a tenant at the same time. But if I rent something, look, i show you what, uh, what I mean. A tenant in the English language is a person or group that rents, that rents and occupies land or a house or office or the like. Something what is similar to a house or office or land or an apartment from another for a period of time clear so the word مستأجر is much wider it's not only something specific for a house okay أنا مستأجر هذه السيارة I'm the I'm the hirer I'm the, 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 the renter of this car وهناك فعل آخر and there is another verb بمعنى with the meaning استأجر so we have two verbs uh, uh, with the meaning استأجر renting وهو and it's the verb اكترى okay what means اكترى with ألف مقصورة at the end في آخر الفعل at the end of the verb اكترى it meaning is also rented hired leased اكترى خالد بيتا خالد rented a house اكترى فعل ماض spasens verb and a verb has a, a فاعل الفعل له فاعل has a, a doer has a subject والفاعل مضموم الفاعل has a ضم as you can see okay. وبعد ذلك مفعول به so a verb Needs a fa'il, a, 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 a doer, a subject. But does the verb need a maf'ulun bihi? This is the third word, maf'ulun bihi. Not always. Laysa da'iman. Ba'du al-af'ali tahtaju ila maf'ulun bihi. Wa ba'du al-af'ali la tahtaju ila maf'ulun bihi. Meaning, some verbs need an object. And some verbs, they don't need an object. So here, for example, 
هنا مثلا اكترى خالدون خالد رنتد يو كانت ستوب هير ذا سنتنس نوت كومبليت ايفن ان انجلش بيبل ويتينغ فور يو تو كومبليت ذا سنتنس خالد رنتد اند ذن ستوب وات ديد هي رنت يو كانت ستوب هير يو نيد هير مفعول به بت سم فيربس نوت مات خالد خالد دايت فول ستوب ات ليتلي اندت So, Beitan is mafrulun bihi, object. Because the what question, always remember, the verb plus the what question takes you to the mafrulun bihi, object. Iktara khalidun, what did he hire? What did he rent? What did he rent? Beitan. Iktaraitu. This alifun maqsura in the past tense. This alifun maqsura in the iPhone. And in the you male and you female and in all the, all the other forms where you add another pronoun, uh, you get a ya. Iktara, iktareitu. I rented. Iktareita. You rented. Iktareina. We rented. Iktarau. Here you don't get a ya. They rented. Iktareina. Short noon. They feminine rented. اكتريت شقة I rented a flat or an apartment اكترى يكتري فعل مضارع always when you find the ألف المقصورة at the end of the past tense he form then it's a ya in the he form present tense قضى ألف المقصورة يقضي شفى he cured يشفي he cures اكترى يكتري as for the alif الممدودة the alif stick دعا يدعو the alif stick is linked to the wow in the present tense the alif المقصورة in the past tense is linked to the ya in the present tense يكتري is he is hiring he is renting he is leasing اكتري rent okay why don't we put a sukun and this is something not in this book, not in the second book, and not even maybe in the third green book. If you find any vowel at the end of the present tense, any vowel at the end of the present tense, okay, like yektari, yeah, this is uh, uh, this is called harfu illatin, ill letter. That's our three letters: the alif, waw, and ya. Okay, if you find any of these three letters, alif and waw and ya, they call them vowels. They call them harfu illatin in the Arabic grammar. Then only thing you do in the command is to remove it. Yaktari, iktari. You keep the ra with the kasra. Where is the ya? Gone. Why? It's harfu illatin. Da'a, he supplicated yad'u. Aha, yad'u ends on a wow. Ill letter. How do you make the amr? Ud'u. Okay. You only keep the ayn with the dhamma. Where is the wow? Gone. Yes'a, is'a, alif is gone. So, iktari, iktira'an, renting, hiring, this is the masdarun. Fahuwa muktarin, so he's the hirer, he's the renter. Wal maf'ool, muktaran, what means rented, al-baytu muktaran. المؤجر المؤجر is the uh, is the landlord or the one that rents out something eh? مؤجر without l it's مؤجر ومؤجر عكس مستأجر is the opposite عكس means opposite and it's مضاف it's مضاف إليه so مؤجرون is the opposite of مستأجرين. آها. So if مستأجرين is the renter or the tenant or the hirer, then مؤجرون is the one that rents out, hires out. So he he owns this place. The مؤجرون owns the house. He owns the apartment. مؤجرون. وهو اسم فاعل and it's اسم فاعل من الفعل from the verb أجرا. Adjara is the he form, but I gave you here the I form. Normally, find in the 
الديكشنري في المعجمي عادة نومضي تجد صيغة الغائب المفرد الغائب المذكر you normally find the form of the absent uh, the single form uh, masculine absent form what is the he form أجرتُ المنزلة I rented out the house why did I put the منزل? Because to show you منزل and بيت and دار all mean the same. They mean house. I rented out the house. أجرتُ أجرتُ السيارة. I rented out. I I hired out uh, the car. Okay. So I gave it to somebody. He's paying me money for a certain amount of days. أجرتُ السيارة. So ajara you ajiru, you ajiru he's uh, renting out. Ajir, ajir had al beta rent out this house. It's just closed. You you're not benefiting from from the house. Rent it out. Ajir had al beta. Or when you have iltiqa al sakinani meeting of two sukuns, ajir al beta, ajir al beta gets a kasra. Tajiran. Uh, what means renting out, hiring out, uh, or letting, or leasing. فهو مؤجر So is the hirer, the letter. Uh, and you can also call him landlord. والمفعول مؤجر البيت مؤجر The house is rented out it's not available as sayara to muajjaratun the car is rented out let out leased hired out uridu shaqqatan min fadlika i want an apartment please uridu shaqqatan min fadlika uridu هذا الفعل مهم shut down the meme with two dhamma مهم جدا this verb is very important it's one of those verbs subhanallah that you have to learn I want how many sentences in the English language start with I want I want food I want this book I want to ask I want to go. How many times do you do you use uridu? Yeah? And this uridu, what is I want, is used by more, both male and female. I say uridu, and a woman says uridu. Okay. And I've told you this before, and also in the we form, a group of men nuridu, a group of women nuridu. Okay. So uridu is I want. So important this verb. Even if we don't understand the Arabic language, just by knowing this word, it makes a lot easy. So, if you point to something like a pen, don't know Arabic, just point to a pen. He doesn't know why is he pointing to this pen? Why is he pointing to the pen? To the pen? Does he want to say that the pen is beautiful? That the pen is uh, that he wants the pen, but if you just know this word, uridu, and then you point, you will come a lot further in Arabic language. Uridu, aha, I want, he wants this. Uridu, aha, he wants that. Eh? Uridu, and then you point to a certain thing, it will help you a lot in the Arabic language. But you need to know, uridu. The uridu is so important. So it's very important in the Arabic in the Arabic language. وهو فعل مضارع and it's a present tense verb as you know أريدو I want nobody says that I want is a past tense verb it's a past tense verb من الفعل of the verb أراد خالد أن يسافر أراد as he wanted this is the root form of أريدو because the he past tense is always root it's always the source out of the past tense you get all the other verbs. He form past tense.
أراد خالد أن يسافر خالد wanted to travel you know when you learn the Arabic language like the word arada you know that arada means he wanted but always look to the subject the fa'ilun the dhamma word the dhamma, the dhamma nouns after it because you don't translate it this way he wanted khalid it's totally a mistake sahih it's correct that arada he wanted but in, in combination with khalidun you have to translate like this khalid wanted okay qara'a is he read qara'a khalidun the Arabs will translate as Khalid read. But if you're new to the translation, you don't know how to translate, you will say, He read Khalid. It doesn't make sense. Okay? So always use the Fa'ilun, look to the Fa'il, and then tra uh, start your translation. Yaqra'u Sa'idun. Yaqra'u is his reading. So then don't say, Yaqra'u Sa'idun means, Yaqra'u, his reading, Sa'id. No. Take the translation in a whole. Don't cut it and translate each word separately because you get stuck. Arada Khalidun an Yusafira. Khalid wanted to, and means to, travel. And after N, the present tense verb gets a fatha. It's normally Yusafiru. But this is book three or book four. Khalid wanted to travel. Willed or wanted. Aratu, what's Aratu? I wanted. Aratu an usafira. I wanted to travel. So Aradas he wanted. And what is I wanted? Aratu, this one. Arada Yuridu. Yuridu fi'lun mudari'un. Present tense. The command is not very much common. Even in English, you don't say much. Will, will this. Eh? What, but anyway. Uh, arid, arid is will, eh? want this, eh? arid hada, want this, it's not very common. Iradatan, iradatan, willing, or a will, I have, you know, my own irada, I have uh, like, uh, this is my irada, this is my will, eh? but my will is under the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah? Whatever you want or will, except if Allah wants it. So, Mashi'atul Abdi tahta Mashi'atillahi. The will of the servant is under the Mashi'ah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fahuwa Muridun. Muridun is the one who wills the one who wants muridun is the willer you can call him the willer uh, muridun and um, uh, muridun also means willing and muridun is also a term used by uh, some uh, uh, deviated sects uh, they call uh, their students Muridun. Uh, Muridun. And some of the scholars they've mentioned in the Muridun, uh, in the way he deals with his Sheikh, it's like he's like a dead body in front of his Sheikh. Uh, the way he wants to turn him, he does. Okay? Uh, and he. Uh, we only submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, but that's another topic my brothers in Islam uh, we only blind follow the Prophet sallallahu but that's another topic my brothers in Islam like I said muridun it has also uh, a negative meaning and that's the meaning that some of the sects they use this word uh, is the murid of the sheikh and he's totally under the sheikh and uh, this sheikh uh, according to some of these deviated sects the sheikh is seeing me although he's another he, although he's in another continent but still the murid feels that the sheikh is watching him 
and the sheikh has control over all the continents in the world and the rain has fallen because of the sheikh and 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 if i ask allah i have to ask through the uh, to, uh, the murid, some of the murids you know uh, if i ask allah i have to ask through the sheikh and uh, that's how he uh, actually uh, left the fold of islam by this shirk but that's another topic so muridun linguistically my brothers in islam uh, is just the willer the one who wants and a muridun lihada al asir i uh, i'm willing this juice asirun is with sad juice wal maf'ul muradun and this is a very important word muradun muradun has multiple meanings uh, wanted uh, or willed but also meant or intended it's a very important word uh, purposed uh, هذا مرادي this is what I meant huh? this is what I intended huh? ما مرادك what, 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 is, what, what did you mean what, what did you intend it? Huh? ما مرادك من هذا الكلام what, what, your, what did you mean with this uh, speech huh? أنت لا تعرف مراده you don't know what he intended what he meant huh? very important now المراد من هذا الكلام what is meant from this speech this and this and this so I will stop here inshallah wa ila dars in qadim inshallah subhanakullahumma wa bihamdik shadu an la ilaha illa anastaghfiruka wa tubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh